Guys, welcome to another episode. Tika and I uh, just slept in the camper van out here in the snowy, snowy deserts of the Pacific Northwest. She's still, she's that little black fluffy blob in the bed still being lazy right there. Uh, we're actually out at my property right now and I did not expect it to be snowy out here. We got here late last night, actually got stuck on the way in because the road out here, it's super remote, so it doesn't actually really get cleared. There was just a few tire tracks that we were following. I had to go up some hills. I ended up having to put chains on the van. I've never done that before, so that was a good, good first experience. Glad to have finally done that. Let's see what we can get done today. I brought a ton of supplies with me. That's why the van is so, so full of stuff. Unbelievable. What's going on, Stinker? When she lays down for a while, her face kind of gets smushed on one side. You have a smushy face. <laughs> Besides trying to fish and catch some fish out here in this icy, snowy mess that we can eat together, uh, the challenge is going to be to live like it's the 1890s. That's the only technology we're going to be allowed to use besides the cameras that I'm filming with and a drone. But, <laughs> but besides that, we're going to go out of the modern luxuries of an insulated van, even though this is a very basic, simple van build. But, uh, but yeah, so from here on out, we're going to sleep on a cot in a tent. We're only going to use wood to cook. So this is going to be exciting, man. Whew. All right, coffee, here we go. Come on, baby. All right, the coffee should be ready. Tika, you want to come outside? Come on. Let's go. Woo <laughs> oh, man, it's bright out here. I'm gonna have to throw in some sunglasses even though the sun's not shining. All oh, that snow. So there's our chain job of last night. It ain't pretty, but it got us here. So pretty stoked about that actually. Last night I still heard some coyotes howling uh, while we were putting on the chains. Heard them already this morning, so we're just gonna make sure that uh, Tika is close by. If you guys don't know what a coyote is, they're essentially kind of like small wolves that live in this area. What we're gonna do now is unload our gear. We're gonna have to somehow, I didn't expect the snow, so we're gonna somehow fab up a sled. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll just drag our gear or maybe we'll dismantle that roof cargo carry as a sled. And then we gotta trek through the land out to where uh, the campsite is. There's just animal tracks everywhere here. There's tons of deer out here. Lots of rabbits, obviously the coyotes, porcupines, all kinds of wildlife. Take <laughs> go, 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 <laughs> oh, oh, I'm spilling my coffee. <laughs> Tika, come on, let's go. We gotta get ready to go camping. <laughs> <laughs> she fell through the snow. That was awesome. Tika, come on, let's go. We're definitely gonna have to sled out all of our gear. I've got so much heavy gear in here, including like a big wood stove, a giant tent, a big canvas tent that weighs like 80 pounds. That whole thing is loaded with firewood that we need out there as well. So we're gonna have to improvise a sled. I'm pretty sure we can use this cargo carrier lid. That thing is shaped just like a sled. I mean, like too perfectly, almost. Almost like it's suspicious. They probably make cargo carriers and sleds out of the same mold. I wonder which one's more expensive, probably the cargo carrier. One side down. One more to go. My hands are also absolutely freezing. <sighs> wow, it's cold out. There we go. Thank you. 
Riding in the sled, that's all right. Should probably test this real quick before I load it up too much. That's a lot of weight I just put in there. It works. <laughs> that was awesome. Load one, here we go. this this is a tumbleweed these things are amazing fire starters throw that baby on there and take that along what do you think about that tika <laughs> what do you think about that all right we've arrived at camp there she is Oh man, it feels good to be here. All right, how about we park that baby right there? Ooh, man, snowy here, jeez. So the tent that we're gonna put up, it's called a hot tent. What that means is it has a stove jack, a hole in the ceiling so that we can put the wood stove and have a nice toasty fire in the tent tonight. It's a 16 foot wide tent. Uh, so I think this area here should do just fine. Now I'm wondering if we do it on the snow or do we clear the snow or compact the snow? Not 100% sure. Directions. This here has the center pole. This guy has the stakes. And these here are our guy lines. What is that, Tika? What's going on? It got really dark so I just kind of rushed through putting up the rest of the tent it got dark fast and I had to get up that tent quickly so I forgot to keep filming the rest of it I kind of like stopped in the middle of it basically I put up the center tent pole tightened the guy lines but the tent is still empty haven't done anything there yet started up a quick fire to get warm put up the wood stove that's the a new brand new little wood stove for me just picked this baby up off of Amazon and uh, started one fire in there and just burnt out um, all of the the flue to get all the grease off you always want it with a brand new wood stove get these babies roaring hot once before you put them inside your tent because they will put off some toxic nasty gases 
And Tika is chilling right here. She is guarding camp right now. Oh, stinker. Oh, my goodness. She's hungry, too. So we're going to uh, cook up a little bit of food here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me show you guys the tent. Let's get the wood stove into the tent. Tika can come with us, too. What do you think, stinker? Look at this. It's like a Harry Potter tent. One pole holds it up there. And then the tent is staked all across the bottom. And then you get that little kind of a half wall with those uh, guy lines all across the outside of the tent right there. This guy there, that's a stove jack. So we're gonna put the wood stove through there. Little nervous, little nervous. I hope that it doesn't get too hot and like the, the risk is that it could burn. Take that off. Basically what a spark arrestor is, is just a mesh that makes sure that uh, it just reduces the amounts of sparks that go out of the, the pipe and can set your tent on fire. Yes! Oh, it's like a perfect fit. It's beautiful. Oh, there we go, there we go. We got a heater in the tent. This is amazing. This is gonna be total game changer. We're gonna be able to do so many things with this shelter out here. So what the stove here also has is these uh, storage and drying racks. Oh yeah. Earlier I was drying my gloves. <laughs> oh man, that's too bad. These are like my favorite gloves too. So yeah, I could also say like, I just punched someone so hard, just oosh, And then that's what happened is just, I, they just busted open, but nah, I don't think that actually happened. <laughs> what do you think? We got a house. <laughs> the first structure <laughs> on the property. Well, first like tent structure. We already built that fire pit, huh? <sighs> All right, time to start a fire in here. Geez, everything is just completely soaked. The 44 is full of snow and water, but that's all right, we'll dry her out. We'll just transfer our fire that we have out there and bring that fire inside. I'll be right back with the fire in my hands. Hopefully I don't like catch everything on fire here. That'd be ridiculous. All right, got the fire. Here we go, here we go. A little bit of smoke, but that's all right. Ooh, coals, coals, that's what we didn't want. All right, here we go, here we go. Okay, probably a good idea to not do that at home. Keep the door just a little bit open so that it can suck in tons of air. There we go. I just heard a coyote howl out there. That was cool, hopefully we get it nice. Nice show with the coyotes tonight. A nice howling session. It is really nice and toasty in here. I mean, like, cozy, cozy, almost t-shirt weather. A little cold on the floor, but I have a plan and a surprise for that. Super excited about this. This is a cot. Now, I've never actually slept in a cot before, so. Was it a high five? Yeah. Now tell me that this does not look awfully cozy. I told you guys I had a little something to keep our toesies warm, keep the feet warm off the ground. I picked up a uh, beautiful, beautiful cowhide. Look at this. 
absolutely gorgeous a dark brindle oh man so this is going to be our rug well it feels so much better on my feet already that my socks are completely completely soaked so i'm gonna start drying those by the fire oh man i can feel that warmth on my feet that feels great I'm hearing coyotes howling everywhere out here. It's totally awesome. But we gotta come out and get just a little bit of snow that we can melt down and uh, make water out of. Yeah. Set that baby right there. likes the heat down there huh? <laughs> oh man she's happy as a clam chilling by the boots all right I think we pretty much got our water here look at this so we have this guy pretty much filled up all the way to the top with snow and it gave us about half of a pail of water now this here is very dense wet snow we're definitely getting more water out of that than you would with like cold fluffy powder snow Now this here is technically not actually garlic, I believe, but it totally looks like garlic and it tastes like garlic, so we're gonna call it garlic. Baby potatoes here. Tika can no longer be under the stove because look at the top of her head. <laughs> she, she charred her hair. All right, right here we have a beautiful grass-fed steak that we're gonna throw in there in just a second. Once this here all cooks just a little bit more, we'll scoot it aside, throw that steak right in there. Tika's been chowing already. She has her little dinner right over there, but of course she's gonna get spoiled with a little bit of steak here in a bit too. Oh man, this is looking so good. Take a peek at that. I think everything is perfectly cooked. 
Ooh. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nice and hot still. Mmm. And I forgot all my salt, pepper, any seasonings down at at the van, but that's perfectly fine. Honestly, with all the, 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 the onions and the, the garlic, that's pretty good. I'm going to set aside just a couple pieces for Tika. I know she's going to want some. I just want to make sure they cool down first. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. I always think that like if you take your dogs somewhere like camping or just somewhere new somewhere that they're not sure about like a road trip or anywhere and you just want them to feel comfortable give them a nice little treat and then they'll be like yeah yeah I want to go camping more often with you Mm. Ooh, yes. Oh. Mm. It is extremely warm in here. I've been keeping the uh, the doors open just to get a little bit of ventilation. Especially when we were cooking, it was like all steamy and just the onions were burning my eyes. <laughs> but but we're totally chilling now. So I'll see all of you guys in the morning. morning guys it is nice and toasty in here still I uh, did have to get up once last night to restoke the fire add a little bit of wood to the wood stove but I can still see a little bit of heat coming off of there it is just oh man that was such a game changer sleeping in here tonight with nice hot dry heat like that oh Tika was already up nice just barely a little bit left. Man, this thing was just amazing last night. Oh, and the uh, oil lamp, I had it just on a low setting. It was on all night. Barely uses any fuel. Exciting. Coffee in a can. Oof. Dark, really dark. strong. Wow. Man, that's a strong coffee. Jeez. I already have air in my chest, but I might turn into a full on bear with this stuff. <laughs> this is woo. little damage report last night, uh, to the tent right here. Luckily I caught it right away. It just started melting, uh, this liner here, the, and the, uh, cotton canvas started separating burning there a little bit but man it was a comfy night i'll tell you that it was really comfy i think tika enjoyed it too she's still sleepy it's okay i am too with the rest of the hot water here we're just gonna turn that into tea i'm gonna throw in some some black tea and some some chamomile there we go we'll enjoy that a little later but let's make some breakfast first bit of olive oil.
at uh, what we got going on in here. I have a feeling it's probably done. Ooh, look at that omelette. Just a little bit of delicious Danish sea salt. Oh yeah, ooh, yes. Just a little bit of like some, what is this, some banana peppers. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's dig in here. <laughs> beautiful banana peppers, a yummy sausage, a cheese sausage, eggs, portobello mushroom. Don't get it any better. Mm. How about a nice baguette? And we'll just kind of throw this baby, and yeah, we can kind of bake it like this, right? Give it just a little little love on the stove. We're also gonna go uh, primitive camp building again. We're gonna do a full on bush, uh, bushcraft shelter and we're gonna actually camp in it. The last one that I built, um, <laughs> I said I was gonna go out and camp in it, but it actually like totally flooded in that area because the rivers here in the wintertime flood um, and they shut down fishing on that river now anyways. So we're still gonna, I'm gonna keep the promise. We're gonna build another bushcraft shelter somewhere and then we're gonna camp in that, just a full on from scratch building a shelter from nothing. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. If of course you enjoy uh, videos like this, camping, fishing, and don't wanna miss the future episodes. Mm. Ooh, it's foggy out here. Really foggy. stock up on some firewood while it's light out. All right, that should be enough wood for a little while. Probably about, this is probably about three or four nights worth. Let's go, that's it. Goo goo. Let's go. Let's go. So we're just going to check on our trail cameras real quick. Uh, reset the uh, SD cards or refresh them and put in fresh batteries and everything. We're at the first one right here. Okay, it's dry inside. That's, that's good, right? Oh wow, it still has power. That's amazing. Wow, the battery's still full. What? That is crazy. Oh wow, we can see deer tracks going along here. That's cool. Actually, they're going this way right there. Here's the next one. Okay, battery's still on. It says SD card full. Camera number three. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, still showing a full battery, even with the cold weather. That's really cool. Check that out right there. That's an anthill. Uh, I remember actually seeing this anthill active before it was snowing, but uh, it looks like some animal uh, went in there and dug it up and probably ate the eggs or just ate the ants or something like that. That's crazy. Would that be a coyote? Would they maybe do that? Or what kind of animal would you guys think uh, would have gone in there and done that? Would a porcupine do that? Wow, it literally took a picture of us coming by. So like legit, this baby was active this whole time. Right, so we'll check out all of the footage uh, here together once it's dark.
to see if I can see them. Right over there. Ooh, yeah, this one's pretty much empty. This is the one that was running all night. Let's go in the tent, Tika. Let's go check out the wildlife footage. I really want to see what we got on those, uh, the wildlife cameras. Hi, Tika. Hi. <laughs> All right, back in the tent. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this wildlife footage that we should have from the cameras. This is going to be awesome. All right, so we're breaking this episode into two parts. So we'll continue with the adventure tomorrow. I'm gonna keep listening to the coyotes tonight with Tika. We're gonna make a little bit of dinner. She's wine and she's hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna get out of here. We'll see all you guys for the next one. Remember, if you guys are brand new, subscribe so you don't miss it. And uh, leave a like on the video, it helps a ton. Drop a comment, I love reading them. I'll see all you guys in a few days for the next one. Till then, you all know it, fish on, baby.